to add the carousel, we are going to use a view package, which is view carousel. The link is also uh, can be seen here and can be downloaded. So it is the npm install carousel view carousel. We need to run this command in our project. So I simply go to the text editor, and here we create open up another terminal, and I'm going to put this. So it is going to install. While it is installing, what we need to do, we need to create a directory for it. So where we are going to have our uh, components where we want our components to be because we need to distribute components in folders because there are going to be so many inside components I need to create another folder with the name of includes now inside includes we need to create a file a component is going to be slider.view now the slider.view is going to be responsible for uh, the slider which we already have installed here so it is completed. We have the carousel installed. So if we go to the documentation, and we have two ways to include it. We can include it globally. We, in that case, we need to include these things straight away into the uh, our file, which is the main.js here. Now the other way is that we can include it inside the component, and I'm going to do that because we are going to uh, use the carousel only on a single page. So just going to copy this kind of line of code and going to go inside a uh, app but we don't want to work here because we just created a slider component for this so what I'm going to do before including anything I'm going to say template we have a script tag export default on the top of it we can put that so we are saying that uh, get from view carousel carousel and slide these two components now if you go to the documentation it also suggests that we should put it inside the component. So I just gonna copy this and I'm gonna go into the editor. And here we can put it straight away. Components. Now we have these components, now it's time to use them. So inside the template are free, I'm gonna create a div because we can have only single div inside template. Now after that what we need to do, if you go to the documentation there is an example given like how can you work with this, how can add, you can add slides. So we can have a slide and the other slide. You can increase it as many you want. So I'm just going to copy this code. And I'm going to go there. I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to save this. And if you go to the page, nothing going to show up here because the component that we have created, we haven't included it. So Let's include it in our app. So just like header that we included before, we need to include the slider. So here, I call it slider. And it is inside components, but then the directory changes. So we need to uh, do inside includes and then slider. So we have slider. We called it. We need to include it inside components. And now we have it here, so we can call it here. So so I'm going to close this slider, I'm going to save this, if we go to the page, we have the slider working, but we have text instead of uh, what we want, the images or anything. So if I go to the slider.view file, now here we have slide one content inside slide, so we need to change it. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to replace it with uh, a div, so I can say here, Dave, and I'm going to give it a class of row. And inside this Dave, I want to give uh, two Daves so that we can divide this screen uh, in half. So we're going to divide it into two portions. In one, I want slide, and in another one, we can add an image. So we need to add two images so that then we can call those images. So in the directory, occurrence public assets I'm going to create a folder here with the name of images and inside this images folder I'm going to put those images so just going to paste two images here slide two slide one so we can call these images now in the code so here to call the images what I'm going to do I'm going to call it just like this so what we can say here is import and we can say 
slide one image from and then we're gonna say and go from directory out then it is going to take us uh, it includes but I want to go to the images so we need to and one more time so now we are in public then we are in assets and then images and then we can get the image we want so I want slide underscore one dot p and g so we have this here now we need to set a property which is going to be going to call inside the source so to do that inside the export default we can set data and inside data you're going to return an object and here let's say slide one is a property we need to set it to equal to this and then we're going to say slide two and we need the second image as well so just going to copy this and inside here i can say two and this is going to be two so we can set it to this all right so what i can do first of all i'm going to call this image so to get it we need to bind the source so i'm going to bind it here and inside it we need to put this so we just provided the image uh, to this. Now, uh, similarly, the way we created one row here, we can create the uh, one row inside the another slot. And here, you can put the uh, slide two, just like that. So if we go here, presently we're not seeing the images if it's backed and go into the elements to see like what is happening so we can see that that image is present here for the slide so it should be working so what we can do here is we can add a few properties to correct this so what i'm going to do i'm going to first of all going to make it in line so that we can see what is happening navigate to i'm going to remove it for now and we have mouse drag uh, we can make it true imagination so pagination enabled to set to false. Now the other thing I want is the auto play. So it's going to be set to true. All right. So we save this and if I go and refresh, we are getting the image, but we need to provide some width and some uh, sizing to it. So let's. Let's do that. Let's give the width of uh, 400 pixel for now. And the same, let's do it here. Okay, you can see that. Now it's a draggable as well. So you can uh, drag here and there. Now we need to include uh, the Google fonts so that we can have this slide content in good shape as well as we need to work with the icons as well. So let's do that. So to get the fonts, we go to Google, Google fonts. The fonts we're looking for is the one is monotone. Just gonna add that. This font. Yeah, this one. So we have these three fonts now. So we can embed these fonts using this link. So to do this, we need to go inside the index.html. And there we need to include this link. So I'm going to do that and just add it here. Now we need to, we can use these fonts by giving these classes to the elements. So we need to correct our CSS to make this working. Uh, so let's do that. So here, what I'm going to do in our code, I'm going to give these text the class of text to both. And uh, also want to uh, give the image the class as well. So class, so that we can change some things in the image slider, image one. And similarly, we need to give the uh, second image the class slider image two. So, all right, so we have that. 
Now what we need to do, we need to go into the bottom and need to add style. Now here we need to add scoped so that it works only on the slider component. So it's scoped. Now if I go to the browser and I click inspect, so we have a class given the view carousel slide to the slides, so we can copy this and we can give this class here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it a height of 900 pixel and then the width needs to be 100%. Uh, uh, we want to give it a font family out that we just got from here, so I want to give it a monoton. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in our code here. And after that, we want a background. Background, uh, let's say image. And what I'm going to add in here, I'm going to add a linear gradient color. So it's going to be acting like an image. So I'm going to put that here. Now, other than this, we need to work on the text as well. So we added the class text on each of these. Uh, I'm sorry, we need to add this text now here. But in here, because we have text inside uh, these zips. So here we can say 2.1 maybe, so you see the difference. So let's add these uses for it. So here, dot text. And it's going to be font size. We need to make it a bigger font size, so 126 pixel maybe. Then we need padding. And padding going to be top. I want to give it 8% approximately. So padding left. It's going to be 9%. And then color, we want it white. Now the last thing is line height. And uh, let's give it an issue. Yeah. So this is going to be the text. Now we have classes applied to the images. So I need to uh, work on that. So I say here slider uh, image one. And inside it, we want to say padding top 10% and width going to be 70% now same goes with the another one which is slider image 2 and it's going to be padding uh, top going to be 15 in this case let's say we need to change we will change it let's see what the outcome comes after this so 70% of this so, save that. Now let's go here, refresh the page. Now it looks a little bit familiar. Uh, it was uh, in the intro. So we have that text here, slider is working. And uh, yeah, things are looking good now.